guys, it's your boy Zephyr, back again. I haven't made like one of these making a beat videos in a bit because I was really trying to like work on my craft and get better as a producer type of thing. And like have a huge catalog so people can actually see like my style or what kind of beats I make instead of me like just learning how to video edit and having it take me like four days to get out one beat that wasn't good, that wasn't mix and master or anything. So I just decided to work on my producing more and then start making beat videos like this because I know people like to actually see what's going on behind the beat. So this beat's called Unique. Um, the very first thing I got for this beat was a cup of coffee. To be honest though, like look at this cup. Hold on, I need a light. I'm mad dumb. Look at this cup. You got Haku, Chihiro, like this is my favorite movie ever. Like it's it's a problem. I don't even like look what? My girlfriend gave me this cup, so it's actually like pretty dope. I feel like it's definitely gonna be that one day where I break it and it's not gonna be that great. But alright, so um and now that we got that though, back to the stew. Okay, so enough messing around. Um, the first thing I found for this beat was a drum sample by, <coughs> sorry, by the producer Decap. Really dope guy. He, his drums knock and like, that's his whole entire like brand basically. Cause some people want those hard hitting drums and he literally makes them from scratch. Like he doesn't recycle sounds from other producers and makes a drum kit. He literally just goes in his house and like records stuff or outside of blah, blah blah which is really cool and really sick um so definitely check out his drum kits i'll leave them down below on splice or you can just go to his website which i'll leave down below as well um there's like six of them you gotta pick them up bro i'm telling you it'll like change or if you have beat block or anything like it'll just help you out so the drum loop that i picked is this So, um, that's basically like how I started it off. And if you like listen closely, um, to the drum loop, it has like percussions and it has certain, I don't want to call it a melody cause clearly it's like the drum part, but it has stuff that is in key, like the ding, 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 like you like you can hear it in the background. So when I heard that, I just realized that I didn't want to make it that complicated of a melody. I kind of just wanted to have a simple beat, if that makes any sense. I don't even know. So what I added was um, this instrument called African bars and literally just one note down. And then when you put those two together, it sounds like this. And then I already knew it was basically going to be a banger from there. And then what I did was add another track of the same instrument, but put it two octaves higher with a better, faster melody for like the hook. Uh, those two together, they sound like this. You can already tell that it's coming together already. And for um, the instrument that I made two octaves higher, I also added reverb on there, so it gave it more of a spacey thing. So after I added the uh, decap drum loop, I also just took his hi hat drum loop, his hi hat drum loop, his hi hat loop. Um, this is what it sounds like with no effects. And then what I did was added it negative 12 semitones and then I added reverb. So it sounds more spacey and more in the back and carries like the whole entire track. And since his hi-hat is not perfectly on time, so it gives it more of a human feel, which just creates more of a, more of like a groove to the whole entire track. So And then what I have here is just a clap, but if you go in this mode, I actually, I messed with the uh, 
arpeggiator. <laughs> so this is what it sounds like. And it goes faster at the end because I'm going from 1 8th to 1 12th for the arpeggiator. And then also with the snare, I just basically overlapped it with the drum loop because it already had a snare on that time. So we'll just oh, hard. This beat's hard. Um, and then I added an 808, which is also from decap. So like if you don't think decap's good at this point, I don't even know what to tell you. But basically here's here's the bass by itself. And and that's the good thing about like decap and i know this is this might as well just be a decap review at this point like but basically sometimes when you get drum kits and you get like an 808 it'll stop so short but since his 808s actually last a long time i can add glides and stuff like that and then after all i did was just add a sweep and this is what that sounds like and then that goes into the whole beat thank you guys for watching let me know if you want me to keep doing this instead of just me putting out anime videos if you guys like seeing my face um but yeah because later on like after i have a a, a bigger catalog i'm going to be making like making a beat videos daily and also like if you want to collab with me like just leave it down below but yeah also check out my website that i've been working hard on please leave a comment if you like the video or not or if you don't like something and i should change something uh because that helps me know if i'm doing like good or bad but hope you guys have a good one peace